on the roof. So this guy, we got no cool call. It's just blowing air. There's no cooling. Compressor's not running. Condenser fan's not running. Uh, blower is running. So we're gonna go ahead and do a full checkup, see what's going on with this thing. So here we go. Okay, so the coil's not frozen. Filters are not super dirty, and I, I just put new ones in there because it's due. Uh, so we're gonna open up this electrical panel, see if we're getting a call for cool, and then go from there. All right, so we're gonna check for 24 volts, make sure we have that between R and C, which we do. We have 25.97, I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard. Uh, so now we wanna see if we're getting the call. So we're gonna go common to Y1, which is this yellow one here, and we are receiving a call. So for some reason, it's not turning on. So, it looks like our contactor is open. So, we may have a pressure, uh, pressure switch trip or something. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, figure this out. So here we go. Okay, so um, we just hooked up some gauges and we are at 63.4-ish on both sides. Uh, so basically it's, it's practically empty. So we got a refrigerant leak. This is R22, I believe. Yeah, it's R22. Uh, so if we turn on our, pushing our contactor here. Sounds terrible. So our pressures are no bueno. So yeah, we got a leak somewhere. Um, and actually, look at that right there. A bunch of oil. Yeah, it looks like the connector here is bad. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so we're spraying a little bit of our uh, big blue here, and there's our leak. I don't know if that's showing up. We got some bubbles showing up right there. It looks like it might be a crack or something. The system has been recovered. We got the rest of the refrigerant out of it. Um, I got my umbrella here, and every time I use the umbrella, it's super windy. Uh, so it's probably going to get blown away, but that's why I have it tied off. Uh, so I got the joint all cleaned up. I sanded it down. We're gonna go ahead and braise that up, and then uh, we'll be ready to jump through there. <sighs> this umbrella doesn't kill me first, and then yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our nitrogen, and we will flow nitrogen through the system, and it will come out through there. Okay, and I've taken all the Schrader cores out. Cores been removed, removed, removed. Um, so yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up the pipe a little bit uh, where the crack is, which is right about there. Uh, and then we're gonna flow a little bit of uh, solder over it and that should fix our leak. Then we will pressurize and go from there. I'm running out lots of dew. So I started brazing on that and then I ran out of oxygen. So I went down to go get my extra tank. It turns out my extra tank is too big and doesn't fit my tote. Seriously? Seriously. That is some bad words right there. That really upsets me. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead, now that I have oxygen, I'm gonna go ahead and braise that up. Uh, so let's try this again, and hopefully my phone doesn't run out of space. <laughs> okay, so I got about 90 PSI in there. Let's see if we got it. Yep, looks like I got the leak. So now we will see if it holds pressure, uh, and then go from there. So I'm gonna pump this up to about Mm, 300 psi and hopefully it holds i'm hoping that's the only leak it's been about 18 minutes so uh, i'm sorry 19 minutes so 19 minutes we started at 308.6 and we ended at 308.6 and it actually did rise a little bit but uh yeah you know it's going to adjust a little bit Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and take the nitrogen out. I'm going to do a quick nitrogen sweep. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pull the vacuum. Now, I know you guys are going to say this in the comments, but I was going to change the line dryer, which I have one there. But this is one of those trains where one side is half inch, the other side's quarter inch. And there's just not enough room. That line dryer is just too big. So I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that that dryer is still good, which it probably is because it's not doesn't have desiccate it's just a bunch of little metal balls in there or like 
uh, bearings, like little ball bearings. Um, so we should be okay because uh, we're putting fresh refrigerant in here anyway. So, and I was brazing with nitrogen. So anyway, uh, yeah, you know, hit me on the comments if you want to say I'm terrible, but sometimes uh, it's just not worth it. And I honestly just don't have time for it. Uh, I would have to like completely just, you know, redo all the piping. I just don't have time to be honest. And it's not really a big deal. Um, I always try to change the line dryer whenever I can, even on leak repairs, but in this case, it's just not worth it. Um, so anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the vacuum started. Alrighty, so we got her under vacuum. Uh, she's at about a thousand-ish. Uh, we just started it, so once she's below 500, we'll go ahead and uh, charge her back up. Alrighty. So we are at 462 microns. Uh, so we're gonna turn this off and charge her up. So it takes 3.80 pounds of R22. So that's what we're gonna do. Alrighty, so we are all set. We're gonna go ahead and charge it in into our liquid line. So we want 3.80 pounds. So we'll be back once we hit that. So we are all done. This is what we're looking at. I can't see anything on my screen. I don't know if you can see that, but this is our uh, our temperature probes. Uh, so it's a 28 degree split. Now keep in mind, I have one in there and I have one in here. So it's like right near the coil. So that's why it's so crazy. So it's probably about 18 to 20 downstairs. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's looking good. Our pressures are looking pretty good. Uh, we got 63 on our suction, uh, 228 on our high, and it's about 88 degrees. Um, Superheat's at 26, our target's 25, and our target's 15 for subcooling, which we're right about. So, I would say it's cooling pretty well. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much how we fix a leak, and find a leak for that matter. So hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.